Welcome back to Delhi Mass Concepts. So what we're looking at um, in this section is a one of the transformations. We're looking on reflections, but um, more specifically, we're looking at how do we reflect um, in the y-axis when the y-axis is actually the mirror line, right? All right. So first, we want to make sure that we identify our y-axis, and this is our y-axis right here. This is our y-axis right there, and this is the x-axis, right? Um, so the mirror line, as you know, is, is this line here, the y-axis. So I could just play back with it so you can see right here. This is our mirror line. Look again. This is the mirror line. That's our y-axis. Now, when you're going to reflect in the y-axis, let us consider that this is our object here. I put an O in it. Now, the distance that each point is from the mirror line, and this is the mirror, the image will fall an equal distance behind the mirror. So if we're to the left of the mirror now, the image will be to the right, but each point will be equal in distance from the mirror. For example, let us look at the point C here. You definitely see that C is two units to the left of the mirror. So it means then it's going to fall two units to the right of the mirror. So this point here will be our C prime. What about B? Similarly, B is one, two units to the left of the mirror line. So it's going to fall one, two units, but to the right of the mirror line. This becomes B prime. A, one, two, three, four units to the left of the mirror line. So it's going to fall one, two, three, four units to the right of the mirror line. Now, if we should reconnect a prime, B prime, C prime. So we are looking at this, so we connect A, B, C. So if we should take a quick look, we're noticing that there are certain things that happen. So with the reflection now, if we should look at the coordinates, so let us look on the coordinates for the object. Coordinates are as follows. This is the object, and we saw the coordinates for A, it was negative four, three. Coordinate for B was negative two, two. The coordinate for C, it was negative two, six. Now, if you look after the reflection in the y-axis, we're looking at A prime becomes positive four, with a three, B prime, so this is A prime, B prime becomes positive two with a two, and C prime becomes positive two with six. So if you really look, you're realizing that when you reflect in the y-axis, after the reflection, if we have the coordinate x, y, after the reflection, the x value will change its sign and the y value will remain as is. So basically, that is how you reflect in the y-axis. See you next time.